the name of Allah, the most merciful, let's start our class. Hello and welcome everyone. We are in the second intermediate grade, full blast for second semester. Our subject is English. Our lesson today is to be in their nature, to Brahman lesson, presented and prepared by Muhammad Falak. Let's start everybody. What we are going to learn today? We are going to differentiate between the present perfect simple and the past simple. Then we're going to practice using, we're going to take some question, everybody, about it. And we're going to listen to the dialogue, then we're going to complete the sentence. We start, of course, with the warming up question. What's the difference between these sentences? Ray has just woken up and Tom slept early last night. Ray has just woken up. And Tom slept early last night. What do you think? What's the difference between these sentences? I will explain more. Okay, the grammar time now. Present perfect tense. You have the structure have, has, plus, past participle. Don't forget, we have the past form, the past form, and the past participle. Okay? So, the present perfect tense activities started in the past and continues to the present. About the past, simple verb plus ed or irregular. Okay, we have irregular verbs that, that we took, like go, went, okay. These are irregular verbs. But in the past simple, it stayed in the past. Let's go back. To the warming up question, everybody. Ray has just woken up. He slept. Then he now activity has started in the past and continues to the future. So he has just woken up. But in the past simple, Tom slept early last night. Stayed in the past. He slept early last night. Okay? Now I'll explain more to know the difference. It's very important to know the difference between present perfect simple and the past simple. Please listen carefully. We have the present perfect simple. I've seen this documentary before. So we have this one, time expression, the keywords, everybody, keywords to know. If it's in the present perfect simple or in the past simple, it's very important. I've seen the, this documentary before. I've seen. I have seen. Okay, with I have seen. Past participle, everybody, don't forget that. Past participle. And we have the time expression before. Okay? These are the time expression of the present perfect simple. Ever, never, before, once, twice, so far. Yet, already, etc. Okay, the past simple. We have I saw. Okay, past tense. Okay, past tense. This documentary last night. This is a time expression, everybody. Time expression. So, time expression of the past simple yesterday in 1989, last night, last week, last year two days or two months ago, okay, etc. So, we have here the past participle, we have here the past simple, past form, we have here the time expression of the present perfect simple, and here we have the time expression of the past simple. Very important to know the time, so this is the key words, everybody, this is the key words, of the present perfect simple and the past simple. Okay, time expression, very important. Okay, have been or have gone. What's the difference? Steve have been to the new cafe. He has visited it, but now he's back. Okay, he has been there, but now he is back. What about Steve has gone to the new cafe? He's still there. Steve has gone. He's still there, everybody. Okay? Very important to know the difference. Have been and have gone. If he's still there, have gone. 
if he has visited it, but now he's back, he has been there, okay? Now, for listening, listen to two friends talking up and complete the sentence with one or two words, okay? One, all has been to the zoo. Two, Ollie went to the zoo by. Number three, Ollie's favorite animal was the. Number four, male baboons way over. Number five, some people blank at the dolphin show. Six, Ollie so colorful blank from South America. Number seven, Ollie bought blank for Brian. Now, listen carefully. Hi, Ollie. Where were you today? Hello, Brian. I was at the zoo. Have you ever been there? I really want to go, but I haven't been there yet. Was it your first time? No. I went there last year on a school trip, so today was my second time. Lucky you. Who did you go with? My brother and some of his friends. We got up early, took the train, and arrived there at 9 a.m. You got there early? Did you see all the animals? I tried to. I think my favourite was a rhino. They're huge, aren't they? You're right about that. I also saw some baboons. I didn't know they were so big. I thought they were as big as monkeys. Do you know how much the males weigh? How much? More than 20 kilos. Interesting. Did you see any dolphins? We saw the dolphin show, and it was a fascinating performance. Some of the crowd got wet, but luckily we were sitting at the back. I've never seen a dolphin in real life. That's a shame. I took lots of pictures. You can look at them if you like, but it's not the same. What else did you see? Lots of birds from South America. I've never seen so many colourful birds before. So, you had a great time at the zoo? Yes, it was very enjoyable. And I got something for you from the souvenir shop. Really? That was nice of you. Here. Wow, that is a scary looking lion. Actually, it's a leopard. Look at its spots. Well, thanks anyway. Okay. You're welcome. Just listen to two friends talking and we want the answer now. If you didn't get it all, please pause the video, listen again and again till you got it all. Okay? Now let's see the answers. Okay, Ollie has been to the zoo twice. Number two, Ollie went to the zoo by train. Number three, Ollie's favorite animal was the rhino. Number four, male baboons weigh over 20 kilos. Number five, some people got wet at the dolphin show. Number six, Ollie saw colorful birds from the South America. Number seven, Ollie bought a souvenir for Brian, the leopard, okay? Not the lion, the leopard, okay? I hope you got it right, everybody. Now, second the correct word. Number one, have you gone or did you go to the match last night? Last night. B, yes, but I left or have left early. Number two, choose one from here or here, okay? Choose one. The circuit, the correct word. Okay, number two, my cousins from Australia are here. B. Really? Where are they? A. They have been or have gone to the castle today. They haven't been or haven't gone to any other site yet. So please choose the correct answer. Let's see. Okay, number one. Have you or did you? Did you, did you go, did you go, okay? Last night, time expression, everybody. Yes, but I left, okay? The past simple. 
My cousin from Australia are here. Really? Where are they? They have gone. They have gone to the castle today, okay? They ask him, where are they? They're still there, okay? Have gone. Not have been. And they're returning back. They have gone and they are still there to the castle today. They haven't been, okay, to any other site yet. Yet this is a time expression. Haven't been to any other site yet. They didn't go there, okay? Okay, number three. Did Ali book or has Ali booked tickets for his holiday yet? Yes, he booked or has booked them yesterday. Before, did Tom ever eat or has Tom ever eaten Mexican food? B. Yes, last Saturday. He went or has been to a Mexican restaurant and he has liked or liked it a lot. Okay? He has liked or like it a lot. See the answer. Number three, has Ali booked tickets for his holiday yet? Has, of course, because we have yet time expression of the present. Perfect, don't forget that. Yes, he booked yesterday. Time expression of the past simple, don't forget that. I told you these are the keywords. For did Tom ever eating or has Tom ever eaten? Okay, Mexican food has Tom of course ever. I'm asking about time, okay? Ever. Okay. He yes, last Saturday he went. He went, okay? He went last Saturday, time expression, don't forget that. To a Mexican restaurant, he liked it a lot. He liked it a lot. Last Saturday, We're talking about last Saturday. The time expression of the past simple, don't forget, okay? Hope you guys right. We learned today how and what the difference between the present perfect simple and the past simple. We took some question about it and we listened to a dialogue between two friends and we answered some questions, okay?